Head of the Hugh Lawson Shera Labor Institute, Danny Roberts, says employers, both in the public and private sector, should begin to look towards developing a comprehensive policy for working from home. He says these arrangements should be agreed upon by the employee, the employer, and trade unions. The need is even greater given the current COVID-19 pandemic being experienced worldwide. With the advent of the COVID-19 pandemic, employers have to find creative means to infuse flexible work arrangements, including working from home. Workers have an obligation to maintain productivity and employers must clearly state the move forward. In agreeing jointly between the employers and the employees about a work from home policy, there are some other issues which arise. For example, um, data protection and security is a crucial issue that employers would want to ensure that uh, takes place and therefore they would put whatever necessary precaution in place to make sure that the confidentiality of, of, of information relating to clients, etc., is not compromised by working from home. But it's also important to ensure that the, the, the home situation is equipped to be able to accommodate um, uh, work from home. With a work from home arrangement, the labor scholar says employers should consider a visit to the proposed working area, equipment supply and utility cost. Mr. Roberts says as of now, there are no laws to treat with these issues. What we would however expect is that from um, the standpoint of providing a, a protection for both employers and employees, the law could and should look at things like ensuring that uh, work, workers who work from home are no less favorably treated in terms of promotional advancement, in terms of um, job security, and all the other arrangements which are now applicable to persons who work from the office. There's also concern for workers who have to go into quarantine. There is now, I believe, the need for some kind of a special dispensation to be included in the formulation of a policy and perhaps it could even find itself um, in, in, in legislation to deal with workers who may have to be at home the quarantine for 14 days um, and, and where, how do you treat that as part of their sick leave arrangement. The existing provisions under the law would mean that they would either have to utilize their sick leave or their um, vacation leave. And in the absence of that, they would be um, on sick leave without pay. I think that um, having regard to the exigencies of the, the, the circumstances and the conditions brought about by COVID and a kind of a, a, a force majeure situation, that I think consideration ought to be given to that by, uh, by the government to develop some kind of a policy um, as it relates uh, to treating with situations of that nature, because it it, it certainly is is burdensome. I mean, certainly in small enterprises, this is burdensome to have to pay the employee for two weeks to stay home. But equally, it is burdensome on the employee who may have to find um, the money to do the testing and to be to be at home for two weeks without pay. With these concerns in mind, Mr. Robert adds that it's necessary to do a closer study of the implications of working from home to include an analysis of sectors and jobs which are most suitable for that scenario.